there's no need to rush the process of what is happening right you <laughs> right you there's no need to rush the process of what is happening right now for you because there is nothing that you can do. It's, it's almost like there's nothing that you can do to either speed up or slow down the course of events that is about to unfold before you. My God, I'm being shown like the image of you getting some popcorn, taking a seat and watching the movie come through. Okay, and the credits are gonna be, the credits are gonna be exciting. What I'm seeing is like, the credits are gonna show you a little bit of what's to come. Um, some foreshadowing and like other things to get excited for so like other movies where you're like oh like I want to see that so it's almost like visions of your future are going to start coming to you um ones that really speak to your heart space that make your heart pound and you get excited and you're like yeah like I want to see that movie like I want to see that happen for myself like you're about to receive those types of visions or those types of intuitive knowings and feelings as you move throughout your day it's going to happen very naturally there's nothing that you really have to do to go out of your way like i said take a seat enjoy your popcorn the show is going to begin um it's one of those really good shows like what i'm kind of being taken back to is you know like five six years ago maybe even seven eight years ago when a really good movie would come out like really good ones we haven't had really good ones in a while i don't know if you've noticed um, and that's kind of the energy of the world too. Everyone's just kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? Um, but this is what I'm being shown is like back to when it was a really good movie and it's like the whole world was excited. And so what this makes me believe is like you, you have a reason to be excited about what's coming in and about what's about to be shown to you in advance. Like I'm hearing an advancement. So maybe like a loan, um, some type of investment, but it's not coming from like a person. It's coming from the universe. Like the universe is going to give you something with the promise that in return you will give the universe something um and, and it's not anything tricky like there's no contract to be signed it's more just like a mutual agreement and understanding and respect between you and your higher self um of who you're meant to become of like this this dream life that you're meant to live and you've been bargaining, no more bargaining here. Like, uh, like your, your bargaining chips have been used up. The universe has a lot of patience for you. That patience is never gonna run out, I'll tell you that. Like God has a very, very special place in its heart. This universe has a very special place in its, in its source of creation for you. And it's not a matter of running out of time so much as it is how much do you cherish your time here? How much do you look forward to this dream life? And are you willing to look forward enough that you're almost pulled into this really beautiful energy that keeps you in a higher vibrational state? So the actions that even keep you in a higher vibrational state because there's a lot, there's a lot of action. But I'm, what I'm really picking up here is like heart coming through like like heart space energy like heart chakra opening almost um it's almost like connecting to yourself and connecting to the world around you in a way that you haven't been able to before or in a way that you weren't ready to before it's it's almost like you're about to grow up in a way that allows your inner child to come out and play even more um, taking responsibility, taking ownership of your choices, of your actions, of yourself. Sharing your story is also what's coming through here. I haven't pulled from this deck in a minute. I'm going to pull um, whatever comes through. I'm going to do one flip through. And I'm being shown the image of my angels, so they're very present right now. Um, angel wings is specifically what I'm seeing. Maybe you're about to receive your wings and by that I mean maybe you're about to take flight into a new experience okay when I was talking about heart space in my mind I was like this feels like a season of love like this feels like a season where there's gonna be a lot of like cut like ring on the finger type energy commitment type energy and what do you know <laughs> king of hearts yeah, um, okay, I'm, I'm immediately picking up on the energy of like someone's heart is very open for you. So it's almost like somebody's waiting with open arms and with the six of wands are waiting for you to kind of like jump through this last little, um, 
like closing out of a cycle here. Are you willing, so the message that I'm receiving right now is, are you willing to believe in my love for you to the point where you allow me to exist freely in love for you as you exist freely in love for me it's almost like this person's love is so vibrantly available for you but it's your love that almost feels a little reserved in a way what is this person waiting on from me is what i want to know or what is the universe in general waiting on because i don't want the sole focus of this to be on love i feel like the sole focus it's, it's on you. Like the universe is waiting on you. Your blessings are waiting on you to make the move. I'm seeing you at the start of a, of a, of a race, like a running race. Um, you know, the, the one where you have your feet up on those little pedestals in the beginning. And there's other teams involved. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is such a beautiful energy that you're moving into. This is my happily ever after card. The Ten of Pentacles is like you win it all. Like you've got it all. And I'm looking around in this race. There's no one around you. Like this race, it's just a matter. This race isn't about you against anyone else. It's not even against the clock. It's not about time. It's are you willing to start and are you willing to finish? I'm trying to drop the mic. <laughs> are you willing to start? Are you willing to see it through? Are you willing to finish this so that you can have everything that you asked for? so that you can receive, so that you can realize you are everything that you've asked for, that it's you. Everything around you starts within you and radiates from you, is reflected back to you. You're even the person that pulls the trigger on the start gun. Like it's, it's all you. I don't know why I just felt the need to like dance, like celebrate, like time to move, time to move and groove. I think, I think there's just like so much peace coming through surrounding this realization that it is all you. You're not in competition with anyone else here. You're not even in competition. There's no versions of selves surrounding you. It's just you and you can take this race at whatever pace you want. You can run the mile in eight minutes, you can run the mile in 10 minutes, you can walk the mile in 25. You can be proud of yourself for starting, for continuing, and for finishing what you started. Because it's all leading to a really beautiful, beautiful homecoming for you. As always, if you feel called to dive in further, I offer uh, personal questions at this time, emails, video recordings. Um, I have my full moon ceremony coming up here. Very excited to channel with you, to share with you my candle rituals. Um, and yeah, I'm here if you feel called, if this has resonated with you and you would like to work with me further. Uh, you can click the link in my bio. You can go to my website.